people who are coming to visit have to use their show as they want it, uh, a way of directing people in using my work. Uh, they have to reinvent it uh, and make it their own. So that's how usually I put up a show and it's uh, uh, not directive. I don't believe in authoritarian ways anyhow. I like that people, when they look at the work, uh, think or take advice on what it should be or not be. And then you'll have hundreds of different interpretations of the work which will change with time and so on. Uh, I think art is a platform to be used and should give from that platform access to the world and you make whatever you want with it but I don't believe in directive positions from the so-called artist. So I believe art is traditionally a way of having lens to see the world. And in the world, there's constructs and there's takeovers. Uh, in the works here in the show and in lots of works I do, there is a juxtaposition of imitation of life and life itself. In this case here, you'll see fake plants and real plants and you see stuffed animals and you know that if you look out of the windows, there's real animals around. Uh, and if you look at the tradition of, of uh, uh, people who, for instance, painted apples, the apples were actually living fruits cut uh, and transformed into the image of themselves. On the other hand, one never knew what happened to those apples. Cezanne maybe ate them when he painted the, the apples. So this change of one position to another is uh, something that the artist makes available because he's in a position to do it. The space here is very specific because it's a corridor which goes from one window to another. And uh, of course, for most of the vit visitors who come probably to Bolzano just to see the, uh, the area, the landscape, which is beautiful, uh, the fact that this museum gave uh, the chance to look at the outside of the museum itself is quite specific. Some of the strategies in the show is to bring people around the space to see the space and from where they are, see out of the space. And here I think many people come to Bodson to see the landscape. And this museum gives the chance to go from one point to another. And this uh, va-et-vient, this come and, coming and forth situation, is a lot present in this work where there's also the mirrored situation. The walls are mirrored, they give you a blurred vision, uh, reproduce into the walls, or the disco balls, which are faceted uh, spheres which we could use the world on their little uh, sides, but at the same time you can't see into it. You don't see what it's uh, taking over, and it, it throws the light, the light off onto the walls, onto you, uh, like a disco ball is supposed to do.